<laughs> Judith is an international leader in the disability rights movement and special advisor for international disability rights with the US Department of State. It's taken us in our countries many, many years to finally be able to get, for example, a good set of standards so that we know what a good set of standards can do in new construction, in transportation, etc. Um, so we're really trying hard to um, make people understand that good standards in that regard are good for everyone. <coughs> Likewise, in the area of education, uh, we've had the same challenges in Ireland and the United States. We've been doing much better over the last number of decades. But I think uh, in both of our countries, we can see it's really only been in the last 60 to 70 years that there's been some progress being made. And while the independent living movement itself <coughs> really was born in the 1970s, we did see uh, changes that began earlier than that. Particularly, I think, in the States, we saw a big push when the disabled veterans came home because uh, veterans were living who previously had died because of penicillin and other kinds of medical interventions. <coughs> Certainly you could see in states like New York and California, the bigger states, that the veterans are playing a very powerful role with the state legislators. They didn't call it independent living, um, but in reality that's what they were working on. I think one of the you know, beauties of the centers is that they're community-based organizations. And as community-based organizations, um, elected representatives want to know who you are if, in fact, you can show them that you mobilize people to vote. I think, you know, the work that's gone on in Ireland, um, while maybe being inspired by what was happening in the States, uh, the reality is the work here takes on an Irish style and uh, its own life and strength. And it's very exciting to be able to work with people from all over the world and ultimately to see that the issues are really the same. Uh, helping to ensure that disabled people and their families, when, when uh, children have disabilities, um, believe that they have the same rights as others and believe that in believing that you have the same rights, uh, really learning how to participate effectively within the system. Judy, it's really a spread special lady and uh, you probably never know how much you've done for us here and certainly for myself and having the, uh, given us the, the confidence to go and do crazy things because that was indeed. Why did I get this?